the M files quick tips. This is the first of a couple different sessions, excuse me. And this session is actually going to be how to add a document to M files. Uh, today's session is going to be about 15 minutes long. At the end of today's session, we're going to have 15 minutes for Q and A. So let's find out what we're going to be talking about on how to add a document. So inside of M files, there's many different ways that you can add a document. I'm going to be demonstrating some of the most common ones, the right click method. Then once you get inside of M files, being able to view the metadata card and preview at the same time, drag and drop method, copy and paste method, how to add more than one document at a time, the watch folder, where you can actually drop a document in the folder and M files will bring it in. Then I'll be demonstrating the integration that M files has with Office 365. And I'll demonstrate that with Excel. Then I'll demonstrate scanning. And this is with the Marco barcode image splitter program. Let's get started. So on my desktop, I have some sample documents. I'm gonna to go to my sales invoice to select it, right click on the document and add to M files. Now what you're looking at here is you're seeing the document metadata card come up and a preview. If I wanna get rid of the preview, I can turn that on or off right there. My class is going to be a vendor receipt or invoice, excuse me. Uh, the object is going to be advance bicycles. Today's date. And my invoice number is 200. Notice that pulled from a value list on the metadata card. I'm going to click on create. The document was added to M files. Let's go look. Inside of M files, the quickest way to see documents just added is to go into recent. There's the vendor invoice. Select it. I could see my metadata card. Over here to the far right, I click on the tab preview, and now I can see the metadata card and preview at the same time. Let's go add another document. And this way, we're gonna actually select the document and we're gonna right click on it. And we're gonna do a drag and drop. Let me just set up my screen here real quickly. There we go. So document selected. I'm gonna go back to my home screen and I'm going to drag the document in and drop it. Now, notice I dropped it over a common view called New Scan Documents. No problem. I can change the class right here. So I change it to my vendor invoice. Object is going to be expert, bike, today's date, and the invoice number 250. Click on Create. When I take a look under Recent, you can see it is at the very top. Now notice it gets a little crowded this way, so I'm gonna turn off my preview, and there you can see it is, been added. Notice under Recent, it's always gonna be the top document for the most recent. Let's go to another one. So this time I'm going to select invoice number four. I'm going to highlight it, copy it, and I'm going to paste it. Brings up my medic data card along with the preview. It's going to be a class of vendor invoice. Object is going to be expert bike. Today's date. Invoice number, click on create. When I look inside of M files, 
Again, it's listed at the very top for the document that I just added. Another method is to add more than one document at a time. And the way you can do that is by selecting more than one. So I have some documents to pick from for pictures. I'm gonna highlight my first document, go down a couple, hold down my shift key. Now I'm gonna right click on that and select add to impulse. It brings you with a prompt because it sees that it's an actual image. So it wants to do OCR on the documents. In this case, I'm not wanting to do OCR because it is strictly an image. So I'm gonna skip that. Now, there's a new choice here down at the bottom. You have a, the create all or skip this. And you also have a button down here that's marked. Use these defaults as defaults or use these values as defaults next document. So I'm gonna select picture for my class. And I'm gonna say these pictures were taken by Greg Larson, I'm gonna go down to keywords, we're gonna put in computer, and we'll put in hands. This time I'm gonna do an actual crate. I'll do another demonstration where I'll show the crate all. What's gonna happen is this information will transfer to the next metadata card where I can actually modify it if I need to. In this case, I change the keywords. Go to the next image. And click on create. And that finishes that. When we take a look inside of M files, we're gonna see how the metadata card changed for each one of those just a little bit. I was modifying the keyword, but the actual person taking the picture was Greg Larson for all three. And the class was picture. That information transferred over. Let me demonstrate it again by using three flowers. Holding down my shift key to select the bottom, right click, add to M files. I'm gonna skip the conversion. The class is gonna be picture. going to be taken by Jim Leg. Description, or actually I should say keyword, it's going to be a flower. Now these are all the same. Jim Leg, took, Jim Leg took all three pictures. The class is going to be picture, and the keyword is going to be exactly the same. So this time I'm going to click on create all. Now, when I take a look inside of M files, I can see that they were added with the information being exactly the same on all three metadata cards. So it's very easy to do that. Let's take a look at a watch folder. So I'm gonna to go to another example. Select and highlight and copy. We're going to go to a folder on my desktop that is a watch folder. I'm going to right click and paste the document in here. Now, when mFiles finds this document and pulls it in, it's going to delete it from this folder. Now, because this is a watch folder, I can actually control how the document is completed on the metadata card. In this case, I've done this as a brochure for marketing. 
and I do not have to complete anything on the metadata card. It's been added to mPulse. Let's take a look inside of mPulse. I'm gonna click home. Now this time it did not show under recently accessed. And the reason for that is because I didn't need to do anything to the metadata card. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually do a little search and I'm gonna do it for class. And I'm gonna go under marketing and select brochure and ad. I'm gonna click search. There's my document. When I select it, you can see that this document was added today at 1010. You can click on a preview. And there it is. I'm gonna click home. I wanna talk about mFiles integration with Office 365. I'm gonna demonstrate with Excel. I happen to have an Excel document open. Up on the ribbon, you will see mFiles. When I select that, you're gonna see mFiles choices. In this case, I wanna save the document to mFiles. So I'm gonna click on save to mFiles. That brings up the metadata card. I'm gonna turn off preview and I'm gonna select document for the class. I'm gonna click on create. The document has been saved inside of mFiles, but it also opened the document for editing. So when I'm done working with the document, I need to check the document back in. When I click on that, my screen in Excel will go blank. Any changes I might have made were saved back into mFiles. Let's go inside of mFiles, recently accessed, and we'll see my Excel document has been added to mFiles. The next example that I wanna talk about is scanning. And this is using the barcode image splitter program that Marco sells. So let me go into my examples. I have a sample of what it would be like if you used a scanner in our program, the Marco barcode image splitter program. So when it scans your documents, it's gonna create a TIFF file. The first page is actually telling the barcode image splitter program which mFiles user this document set goes to. The next page tells the program that there's a new document following, and this is called a patch code or job separator. Then you have your actual document. Another separator page or patch code because I have a new document behind that. And then I end with the last page of the document. Okay, so I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna put it in a folder that the barcode image splitter program monitors. So I'm gonna paste that in and that's where your network scanner would actually save the file. It would save it to this watch folder that the Marco barcode image splitter program will be looking at and pull it in. Your mFiles administrator sets how often it looks at the folder and brings documents in. We'll give it a moment here. When it finds it, it will delete it here. And then it's gonna process the document. There we go, it's brought it in. It's actually processing it as we speak. I'm gonna close these folders, go back into mPulse. Your common views are set up by your administrator. And there's a, usually a common view called new scan documents. When I double click to go into this view, you will see your scan documents. Now it takes a moment 
for the barcode image splitter program to process the documents that were brought in. To refresh your screen, you could press F5. There they are. As we take a look at them, we can see the documents were added minus those additional pages to show us where it was supposed to go and when a new document was appearing. All right, just a few more minutes left on today's session. Uh, truly, again, appreciate everybody sending over questions. Definitely have uh, more time here to answer any others. And uh, if you have suggestions here as we move forward with these monthly learning uh, quick tips that Dave is, is uh, taking his, his time and effort to put on as a value add to you guys, um, definitely feel free to send it over. Um, we want them to be very targeted and useful sessions for you. Thank you, Tracy. Uh, just a quick reminder, um, as Tracy mentioned, we are just starting kicking this off. This is the first session of many. Um, we're gonna be offering these sessions the third Tuesday of every month at 10 a.m. Um, we're gonna follow the same format where we're gonna have a 15 minute uh, quick tip followed by Q&A at the end. Uh, the next one is gonna be actually searching inside of mFiles. We'll go over some of the basic search capabilities that mFiles has for you. Also a quick reminder at the end of today's webinar, there is gonna be a survey. Please let us know, did this help? Uh, what would you like to see? Is there some topics that are, hey, if you cover this, this would be really helpful. So let us know what you're wanting to see covered in the quick tips. Also, let us know how we did today. Things that we could use that could improve today's session. Um, we are pretty much at the end. Are there any other questions, Tracy? Looks like we are covered for today, Dave. Awesome. I would like to thank everybody for attending today and look forward to seeing everybody in the next Quick Tip, July 18th. Thank you for joining. Bye-bye.